Welcome to Everyday Becoding. This is part 11C of EP Plus Library Beginner Guide. In part 8, we have seen how to add, move, hide and remove commands to an Excel worksheet cell using EP Plus Library. And in part 9A, we have seen how to basic format commands in Excel worksheets using EP Plus Library. And in part 10B, we have seen how to set text alignment and font style in Excel command using EP Plus Library. In today, we have learned how to add, remove multi-style and multiple rich text in Excel command using EP Plus Library. I have strongly encouraged to everyone, please watch this previous video first in part 8, in part 9a and in part 10b. Okay. You can also download my source code from this given link. So how to add rich text in Excel command using EP Plus. First, we need to attach one more namespace. This is office open XML dot style. So in letter, I will show you why I am using this namespace. Just copy this namespace right now and go to my Visual Studio. Right now, I'm typing using and paste this namespace. Right now, I'll go to my blog again. We have seen in part eight of this video series, the add command method of Excel range class. And this is a add command method. And this add command method accept two things as a parameter. First thing is normal text. And second thing is the author name. The two parameter is string. And this range, the range is the object of Excel range class. And I am assign this command to the Excel command class object. The first parameter of add command method, this is a normal string. Okay. And this is not a normal string. This is a object of Excel rich text class. You can add multiple Excel rich text class by using Excel command class property rich text. And it has a add method. This add method take a individually Excel rich text class object. I am not specify any Excel rich text class within this code. Why I am told you this is a Excel rich text class object. Just copy this line of code and, and practically I have to show you. Just go to my Visual Studio here and paste this code. And this is a Excel rich text class object. And the first Excel rich text object is placed in zero position. That means zero index base. And second Excel rich text is placed in index one position. And third Excel rich text index two position. And fourth Excel rich text object is placed in index three position. This is a rich text object property when I am the go to the definition of rich text property just press F12 key from your keyboard as you can see this rich text property is the type of Excel rich text collection class and this is nothing but a collection class okay and right now when I am go to the definition of Excel rich text collection class as you can see there is a add method and it accept a normal string and return the Excel rich text object. So that's why I am told you this is nothing but a Excel rich text object. Okay. And in later, I will show you how to assign this Excel rich text object within this string and how to attach style within Excel command by using this Excel rich text class. This is a multiple Excel rich text class is involved indirectly within our Excel command. And right now I'm specifying this specific Excel rich text object by using rich text property and it has a add method. Right now I am build this application. It builds success and after it build, it plays on my D type. Name of the file is format command dot XLSX. And right now I'll go to my D type. This is a specific file. Just double click on this specific file. And as you can see, the fourth Excel rich text object is placed within our command box. Okay, right now I'm going to my blog. In this blog, the next, how to add multi-style rich text in Excel command using EP plus. Just copy this line of code first and go to my Visual Studio. And in next, right now I'm selecting B10 Excel cell by using Excel range class. Okay, just paste this code. Within this code, as you can see, I previously told this is Excel command class and it has a add method of Excel range class. It take two things. First thing is Excel rich text class object and second is author name. Just I am placing some style within this Excel rich text object. Just cmd.font bold equals to 2, cmd.font underline equals to 2 and cmd.font italic equals to 2. Just specify three specific boolean 
style and after that I am specifying a color and we are already familiar with this code in part 10b of this video series okay so if you are new to this video please watch part 10b of this video series and the next part these are new things just cmd.xlristex.at previously we have seen cmd has restex property and it has a add method it accept the specific string and return the excel restex object that means this add method return a excel restex object and right now i am creating a excel restex object the name of the object is restex1 and this is a excel restex class now when i am go to the definition of excel restex class as you can see this restex class is belongs to opish open xml dot style so that's why I am previously attached this namespace. Okay. Right now I am using individually Excel Restex and I am attaching one by one by using add method and I am specifying different object of Excel Restex class. This is a Restex 1, this is a Restex 2, and this is a Restex 3. And I am individually attaching different style. First style, I am specifying bold equals to true, italic equals to false, and color equals to color dot green. And this is nothing but a color structures. And these color structures are belongs to this namespace, system dot drawing. Right now, I am individually attaching different different style in different Excel Restex object and build this application. So it builds success and before I execute this code, I need to close this PBS Excel file. And right now I am execute this code. I'm go to my D drive and double click on the specific file. As you can see, this is a specific different Excel Restex and I am applying different style within specific Excel Restex object. Just go to my code. As you can see, this is a first Restex everyday coding. Right now I am applying a font name, Arial rounded empty bold. So that's why its output is different font, its color is red and its underline that I am specify within this code. Its underline equals to true. After that, this my, I am applying a specific style font name Arial narrow so that's why Arial narrow font style is applied within this command box and when I go to the code as you can see the YouTube text is font name is Arial and right now I'm specify this color blue so that's why in my Excel file the YouTube text is color blue and after that channel I'm specify the specific color is brown and I'm bold equals to true and italic equals to false that's why it is not italic it is a normal text and its font name is Arial Black. I am using different font name. So in the different Excel Restex, I am using different different font name and different style. As you can see, in this way, we have specified different styles text. That means different Excel Restex text within this comment box. Right now, I go to my blog. So next question: How to remove Restex in Excel command using EP Plus? Just copy this line of code first. After that, I am explain what I am do. Okay, just go to my Visual Studio. Right now, I am specify B15 cell. That means within this Excel, this is a B15 cell. Just go to my Visual Studio. Right now, I am paste this code. And within this code, I previously told you every rich text objects are assigned one by one by index position. This is a zero index position. This is one index, two, and three. Okay, the so four Restex objects are attached within this Excel command and this Restex object have a method remove add and this remove add can remove the specific Excel Restex object by specific position. Here I am specify two. That means first position is zero, second position is index one and third position is index two. That means this rest text is automatically removed when I am execute this code. Just close this previous Excel file first. Now I am build this application. Execute this code. Right now go to my D drive. Within this D drive, this Excel file, as you can see, the first list text index 0, it's present within this command box. Second list text index 1, it's also present in this command box. And third list text, that means index 2, is not present in this command box. That means in my code, it remove at second position. That remove add method 
is responsible for removing a specific Excel Restex object within the specific position. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to add multi-style and multiple Excel Restex and after that we will learn how to remove the specific Excel Restex within Excel command by using AP Plus library. So before I finish this video, this is my YouTube channel. So I have requested to everyone please subscribe my YouTube channel and these are my video. Please don't forget to like or share these videos. You can watch this video in two different language either in Hindi or in English. That's it for today. Have a good day.